Here we are in beautiful Courtside, Arizona at the 2019 RTR Rubber Tramp Roundup. That's the Kraken. A lot of folks online have asked me how I live in a van. Friends and people on different groups on Facebook and whatnot. And if I had any pictures of the inside. And I had pictures when I was building, doing the build out first, but I wanted to show a video of, of how I actually live and take some pictures of the inside. The Kraken's a 1995 Ford E-150 club wagon, and he's been a gem. No modifications really on the outside. I carry uh, my bike, uh, giant city escape uh, on the back along with a pop-up tent. I'm a glass blower by trade, and so I have to have those pop-up tents to work in when I have a festival. So let's take a look inside. We'll look up front first. Now, I normally don't run with a case of water, but I'm in the desert, and so I got a little extra water. I normally like to keep the front uh, pretty well empty and clean, uh, so it doesn't look like someone's living in the van when it's parked. Uh, what you see on the dash are my blackout screens made of uh, Reflectix and corrugated plastic signage with Reflectix on both sides. Those pop in the windows and uh, really black out anyone being able to look in. And they act as a, a little insulator. So I tried to keep the cab pretty clean, other than my tank of water. I have a little um, cooler up front. I don't put ice or anything in it, but I keep water in it, or pop sometimes. And it does the job. And now let's look inside. I'm pretty much a minimalist. What you're going to see is not only are not only my personal items but also the items I need to do a show. I have all of my glass tools and tables, um, gas tanks, oxygen, propane, uh, all the things I need to do a glass show including inventory and it's all wedged in here very specifically. I'm not a carpenter, I'm a glass blower so my build out is very rudimentary. I built a bench for the bed out of two by fours and plywood and I built originally that one table there. And I had the cooler sitting here. And I used to keep my little Coleman stove on top of the cooler. But I, I decided I needed a little table um, about the height of the cooler, uh, shorter than the main table, so that I could use my stove and not do any damage to the headliner in the van. So I built that uh, about three months ago or so. Anyway, this is my bunk. I store a lot of inventory underneath it, crates of inventory, um, various glass things I make. I have a little electric heater stored in there for when I do plug in for electricity. Uh, I seldom do that, so I don't use it very often. My oxygen intake and uh, some spare glass rod are strapped in here behind the seats. On my first table, I keep a little buddy heater. It's gray, of course. My stove and some cooking utensils. I keep a stainless steel bowl for a wash basin and just all sorts of uses. My curtains I found at Walmart and cut them down and made a blackout curtain for the cab. I took a tension rod uh, that was probably built for a shower or something like that. And I snipped the ends off and folded them and tucked them in the plastic. And then put up a couple of paper clips that probably you can't see to hold them in place. Anyway, it does the job. And guess what? It's gray. My mattress is from Amazon. It's a Zenus or Zinus uh, memory foam mattress. And it's perhaps the best mattress I've ever had. It's about six inches thick. And it sits on this platform. The only thing I would do differently with the platform, it's solid under there. And if I were going to do it over again, I would want to do some slatting. Because sometimes you have some moisture that collects under there. And I have to go in there and clean that up and whatnot. Moisture just from condensation of breathing. But it's a wonderful mattress. It's what is called a narrow twin. And I think it costs... $80 or so. In back, you can see my crates against the back cargo doors. 
And again, that houses stuff that I use in my glass business. Lights and my torches and my gauges and extension cords and packaging and all of that sort of stuff. My stains that I use, some of the glass that I use. On top, I often run uh, over here above my bed with um, my pajamas and my jacket and a hat all of which notice are gray my chair uh, a coleman chair very comfortable 34 dollars. loved it it's guess what gray and then you see my closet back in there that holds my clothing and that's just a little travel suitcase from jc Penney's. it was on sale i think for 30 dollars. normally 130 dollars or something crazy and uh it holds all of my clothing, and it's gray. How do I get all my clothing in there? I roll it, just like I rolled my pajamas over there. People say, well, doesn't that wrinkle them? Well, not if you roll them correctly. It doesn't, and, uh, and they come out looking almost fully pressed. As you can see, I don't have a tremendous amount of room, but I use every space available, a little space to put my shoes. That's Davy Jones' locker. Those are weights for my tent out back. That's my vacuuming system, my broom. And my propane is underneath there. I store my tables here, which I use as sort of a makeshift bedside table. And then my pantry. I try to keep my food purchase at a minimum. I do a lot of that on the road. Why store it if you can use a grocery store to store it for you? But I'm afraid I still pack way too much. My utensil box, a little bamboo thingy, and holds all my utensils. This is perhaps my favorite one, which was a gift from a friend. It's useful in all sorts of ways. I use, most of the time, I use candles for heat if I need any. I just light a candle. I keep the candles in a uh, chicken meat tin, again from Walmart. And then they're sitting on two little glass discs because I'm a glass blower and I've got to have some glass in here for decoration. When I get really cold, I've got a Mr. Buddy heater that I use, and I've got this wonderful propane stove to cook on. I don't do any cooking in terms of meat in the, in the van, because I don't want the grease and whatnot. But I mainly cook on the little burner, and I cook a lot of oatmeal. Um, I make tea and that kind of thing. If I'm going to use the grill, I'll, I'll grill maybe um, a panini of sorts, uh, a, a pita with cheese in it, or a tortilla with beans and cheese. That's probably one of my favorite uh, things to, to do. I eat lots of burritos and lots of pitas. It's pretty simple. So that's a little Coleman stove. All my little pots and pans. And I try to keep everything where it's not going to bounce around. The only thing that I do differently right now when I'm going to drive I take down my home entertainment system. What is that you say? That's a Chromebook. And I highly recommend you get a Chromebook. They're so versatile, and uh, I use mine as a big screen television. I lay down, and when you're only this far away from the Chromebook, it's a big screen television. But anyway, when I'm driving, I take that down, and I take those candles down because they always want to fall over when they're tall. Down in here, I live with a system of bags. I've got a toiletry bag, and, and then I've got a uh, kind of a first aid a vitamin sort of bag. And I've got an electronics bag. All my electronics go with me everywhere I go, so they never stay in the van. Anything that's really valuable to me never stays in the van when I leave it. My kiln for glass blowing is down there. I use it as a little makeshift table. This is, I don't know if I told you about Davy Jones' locker. This is Davy Jones' locker. I use it primarily for trash. It is the occasional um, potty pot, uh, but that in the 249 days I've lived in the van, I've only done that uh, twice. But better to have and not need than need and not have. All my propane is stored under there. I run with two tanks of propane. And that's pretty much the van up front. And in the back. It's pretty minimalistic. 
I don't have a lot of personal items anymore. Uh, I mainly have my clothes and my personal hygiene things and my electronics. Most everything else is the glass business. And so I'm able to make a living anywhere I go and still be able to live in a van. It's been an interesting journey so far, and I have to say, I really love it. I encourage you to do what you love and love what you do. I'll see you around.